As we start off our mini lectures, we're going to be looking at Eric Erickson and Jean Piaget for this first lecture. But before we dive into Erickson and Piaget, I'd just like you to take a look at the images of major educational theorists and psychologists below. What do you notice? What do you notice in terms of historical context, social context? What do you see? We'll be coming back to this image and discussing it more later, but for now, I'd just like you to think about the dates in which each of these theorists lived. You'll see that there's a lot of overlap among the theorists. Look at the gender, look at the race. As we learn about the theorists, look at the um, countries from which they came and just be thinking about how these factors might be influencing what we're learning about child development. I'd also encourage you to ask the question of whose voice is missing. These are the educational theorists who are some of the most prominent theorists and most well known and are taught in grad school programs around the world. But whose voice is missing? Be thinking about this as we continue on through the module. For today, though, we're going to take a look at Eric Erickson and Jean Piaget. And I'm just going to ask you to start comparing these two theorists. They were both constructivist theorists who viewed um, development in terms of stages. Erickson viewed um, development in terms of psychosocial stages. Jean Piaget looked at it in terms of cognitive development. It's interesting to think about how Erickson, Piaget, and Montessori all had a lens of stages or, of course, with Montessori, it was planes of development. They all were contemporaries in one shape or form or the other, and they all were constructionists, or excuse me, constructivists. So the stages that they describe and the stages that they identify are different in some ways, and they're also similar in others. So I'd like for you just to be thinking about that over the next um, couple of weeks as we learn more about them and discuss them more. Eric Erickson um, was born in Germany. And interestingly, Erickson had a Montessori background as well. He had his teaching certificate and he um, received a degree or a certificate from a Montessori school to be a Montessori educator. So Erickson himself was very um, familiar with the Montessori methods. He was also heavily influenced by Freud. Anna Freud was one of his um, mentors and people that he learned from. And when we think of Erickson, we'll often be thinking about the term identity crisis. It's one that we use even in our daily lives or <laughs> our lives now, I should say. This chart's going to be posted. We'll be coming back to it later, but just kind of gives you an idea of how Erickson viewed um, development in these psycho psychosocial stages. He saw it in terms of eight stages, and he looked at it over the continuum of a person's life from infancy to death. Piaget, in contrast, well, in contrast, he um, only looked at development and cognitive development as um, going from the age of zero to 12. So he knew that he, people were lifelong learners, but he really focused on development from zero to 12 and really believed that that was kind of the extent of cognitive development. Um, Piaget and Erickson both had the philosophy and idea that construction of knowledge, so how children get knowledge is how they interact with the world, was the way that children learn. Piaget broke de development down into um, four stages from birth to 12. And we'll be going into these in a lot more detail over the next couple of weeks. But for now, I'd just like you to keep in mind Piaget's stages contrasted with Erickson's stages, and then contrasted, of course, with the sensitive periods which Dr. Montessori identified. So we'll be coming back to these theorists and discussing them more. For now, you can go ahead and move on to your assignments with Erickson and Piaget.